Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name is Jason Newland. This is Relax and Sleep Hypnosis Daily. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. If you would like to support this free service, please go to paypal.me forward slash Jason Newland. And the link is on my website. That was a mouthful, wasn't it? So, what I thought I'd do today is give you a massage. Mmm. Nothing dodgy, just a, a normal, healthy, healing massage. Obviously, it's going to be remotely because I'm not actually in the room with you. But this is where we can use our imaginations. Now, uh, just let you know that I did do a massage course a few years back. So I do actually know how to do a full body massage. And did practice on many people at the time. So I'm not just making it up as I go along. Like most things I do. <laughs> so... Um, It's going to take you imagining yourself sort of lying down on a massage table. And if you've never had a massage before, then basically um, you could just lay there on your table. You know, imagine laying there. Um, I'm going to be massaging your back first and then I'll massage your front. But doesn't entail you turning over you can just lie or sit down in a chair whatever is comfortable for you and you can just imagine it happening imagine in your mind focusing on the parts of your body that I am massaging okay so I'll be massaging the whole body except the buttocks and the groin area. Okay, so everything's just going to be like a very normal massage. So from the body down to the lower back and to your stomach and then your legs downwards to your feet, hands, shoulders, etc. And face. So you can imagine yourself fully clothed or not up to you. Uh, most massages, when I did them, the person would have uh, be pretty much unclothed, apart from towels covering their particulars, <laughs> their private parts. Um, but it's up to you. You can be fully clothed. It's, or, if it makes it easier for you, you can imagine someone else doing it. So I can guide you through the massage and you can imagine it's someone else. Maybe your loved one, maybe uh, someone more appealing than me, you know, and that's fair enough. So someone that you'd like or feel comfortable physically touching you. Okay, so it's, this is your imagination. I'm just going to guide you through it. And I'm going to be the masseur for t <laughs> for today's session. I don't know why I'm laughing. I'm giggling like a schoolgirl. Why is that? I'm just embarrassed. I'm shy. It's been a while since I've done a massage. But uh, it was Swedish massage that I learnt. So, but I never learnt any Swedish, so I don't really know. Uh, there's different types, obviously. Also, I did learn reflexology as well. So, having physical contact, apart from being extremely healthy, it just feels nice. Regardless, really, of who's doing it. As long as they're not hurting you. And some of the people that I trained with, it really didn't have a sense of... Uh, well, when they started, didn't always have a sense of touch. 
you know, it's almost like they were trying to push their fingers through my spine. Um, maybe they were. But we don't have any of that stuff. And because this is your personal massage, for you personally, um, and for your imagination, the pressure is going to be absolutely perfect for you. And the feelings that you gain, the relaxation of the muscles, the calmness of your mind, all comes from within. And as I focus on each part of your body that I'm going to massage, you can focus on that part. And you can actually really feel the massage taking place. So we're going to start off with you lying on your stomach. Now, another thing I should say, in reality, you may not be able to lay on your stomach or lay on your back due to physical issues. That's not a problem because this is our imagination. So even if you couldn't normally lie on your stomach or your back, uh, you can in this scenario because you're not actually going to do it because you're going to be lying down or sitting in a comfortable position that suits you but in your imagination you're going to be lying down on your front to start with on the massage table And it's up to you whether we use oil or whether we use, just do it dry without any. Now all the massages I ever did was with oil. Some people like it, some people don't. It is a lot easier for lubrication purposes of actually sliding into the muscles and massaging um, compared to no oil. But ultimately, it has to be, it's up to you. It's your, your massage for you. So, I'm going to start now. And I'd like you just, first of all, just to see yourself lying down on that massage table. Lying on your front. Your head is supported. Your arms are supported. And you feel comfortable and the breathing is really easy. And you feel you feel confident in how you look as well. So there's none of that issue of body problems or shyness because I'm a professional and this is a therapy session. So none of that stuff matters whatsoever. This is about you. This is about how you feel and how you can enjoy that sense of comfort and relaxation that comes from letting go and allowing my hands and my fingers to relax you by massaging your body. So I want to start off just by placing my hands on the back of your head, just gently, just so you can feel what my hands feel like really on you. So you can maybe feel the warmth of my hands on the back of your head. And I'll move my hands to the side of your head. Not pressing, but just holding them there very gently. Maybe over your ears and a little bit on your face. Just so you can feel my hands. So you can become accustomed 
to them. And now I'll put my hands on the back of your head again and gently let them slide down onto the back of your neck. You can feel my hands gently stroking the back of your neck to start with. Just so you can get used to the the feeling of my hands on your skin. Get accustomed to it. Realize that you're safe. And it's all good, it's all fine. And I'm going to start gently massaging the muscles in the back of your neck. With both hands. Now this is a very trusting situation really because our necks are so fragile and to have someone have their hands around your neck in that way can sometimes be problematic for people which is why massages are quite good because it allows you to relax and to get in touch with trust to feel peaceful and calm. And as I massage the sides of your neck gently, moving from the bottom of your neck, which would be sort of near where your shoulders start, I guess, all the way up to your jaw, your ears kind of area, that side of your neck, of course is a lot longer than the front of your neck. And then massaging the, the back of your neck. Especially that area where perhaps we hold tension. And as that area is massaged, you can actually feel a sense of release in the back of your neck. And maybe you can breathe it out as well. Notice how it feels. Notice how you feel. Then moving down to that area between your neck and your shoulders. That muscly area. Starting to massage that area on both sides. I mean, this would be the area that a lot of people would massage if they were going to give you like a shoulder massage. Even that's not technically the shoulders but it's all the muscles that lead to the shoulders from the neck and again that can hold tension and stress and when massaged sometimes a nice deep massage is useful and you decide how deep that massage is Just allow my knuckles just to dig in to get to those muscles and to really relax them. All the 
your time being firm yet gentle with you. And just stroking down that area to your actual shoulders. Moving to the muscles of your shoulders. And maybe initially just pulling up the shoulders a little bit off the table. Just to give you a little bit of a stretch. But very gently. And you've got the muscles at the front of your shoulders, the sides and the back. Again, this is a part that can really take quite a bit of pressure, quite a bit of uh, needing, if, if you wish, to really release the tension, to really get into those muscles and you can let your fingers in there and make you feel really nice. Sometimes just being stroked gently or being massaged quite strongly can all be beneficial to the relaxation of the muscles in your shoulders. Now as we move down your arms, we do one arm at a time. Starting with your right arm. What I'll do is I'll just lift your arm up. Just hold it to the side of you. Don't worry, it'll still be attached. And I'll just massage the tops of your arms. all the way down to your forearms, into your wrists. Gently massaging that part the softer part, which is the under part of the arm, which leads to the crease in your elbow, the inside, it's much more sensitive skin. Sometimes just having that stroked really nice, pleasurable and relaxing. Now moving down to your right hand. Just holding your hand in both of my hands. Just pressing gently on the back of your hand and stretching your fingers ever so lightly. At the same time, pressing down and massaging each finger. And then 
starting to massage the palms of your hands. Just turning the hand gently, stretching it gently. And actually having your hand held can really be an emotional experience sometimes, even if it is with a stranger, someone you don't know very well, like a massage person or a therapist maybe, because it's intimate. You can feel nice, and you can feel safe. And as I put that right arm back down where it was, you're going to do the same with your left arm, exactly the same. Massaging the muscles in your arm all the way down to your wrist. Stroking the inside of your arm. Just being gentle or as firm as you require. And then massaging your left hand. Stretching the fingers gently. Massaging the palm of your left hand. so, so relaxing, and so comforting, now just rest your left arm back down, Start to massage your back, the biggest part of your body. Starting at the top, starting again where you already be at being, that area at the top in between your shoulders, near your neck. Going back, massaging that area again. This time moving downwards. Making a downward stroke. To the middle of your back. Working from the outside inwards. So massaging the. Your back but the. The outsides of your back. parts where your arms would maybe rest against almost the part that connects your front to your back and just massaging down Firmly, but gently, as firm as you want. Moving down and then moving across a little bit and moving all the way down again. Being very gentle, yet firm. 
firm as you choose. Eventually we get to the spine. We can massage the muscles on either side of your spine from the top of your neck all the way down to your lower back. We can do that a few times. Sometimes people use the knuckle or the, you know, two fingers and just go either side of the spine almost just push down go all the way down to the bottom of the spine each time releasing tension and opening up the body stretching your body so that you feel more relaxed but at the same time rejuvenated Now I'm going to move to one side, to your right side. And from the bottom of your ribs to your pelvis, we're going to massage that area of your back. I'll stretch over the other side and I'll pull the muscles gently and massage and push from one end, that side, all the way to my side. Or to the middle, in fact, to where your spine is. Massaging that side of your spine, the opposite side to where I'm standing. It's almost like kneading bread. There's that big area which is firm, yet lots there to massage potentially one of the most important places to actually have a massage because you really feel it you really feel the release and the pleasure of having your lower back massaged releases so much from your body that's not useful starting a healing process which will continue long after this recording is over and massaging this part of your body not only feels really good for you, but it's actually fun to do, because it is, as I said, like kneading bread, it's a part that you can really get a hold of, and really massage deeply, if that's your choice. Then I'm going to move over to the other side of your body and do the same with the opposite part of your lower back. Kneading and massaging from your sides all the way to the middle of your back where your spine is. Pressing and kneading. Firm and gentle at the same time. It feels so releasing. There's a mixture of pleasure, comfort, release, calmness, relaxation, all mixed together. Plus there's that feeling from your stomach as it's being stretched 
even though you're on your stomach now, you can feel it being stretched because that whole area is connected to your stomach. going to move or move further up to your top of your body and I'm going to do the same this time starting with your upper back put my hands forward over and mass massage in that area up to your spine from the side of your body up to your spine so some of that massage area, the muscle tissue, uh, or whatever, fatty tissue even, will be possibly from your chest. Because it's all connected, the chest and the back connect together. I'm going to be massaging and just pulling some of that skin from your side up and massaging that area of your upper back all the way to your spine and then I'll move down a bit and I'll continue with the middle of your back doing exactly the same thing as gentle or as deep as you choose move the other side again and do the exact same thing with the top of your back on the other side from pretty much underneath your arm area really to your spine then continuing that all the way down including your lower your middle of your back now I'm gonna go to your thighs the backs of your thighs and the sides of your thighs starting with your right leg massaging the back and the sides of your thighs gently and firmly and there's a lot of muscles there it's an area that can be very tense at times and maybe needs a little bit more pressure than the rest of the body. But that's up to you. And you can gently stroke the back of your legs where, you know, opposite your knee joint or underneath your knee joint. It's a very sensitive, gentle area. And working down to your calf muscles, massaging your calf muscles thoroughly and deeply if you choose, using both hands and fingers digging deep. to your ankles and the back of your back of your ankles just gently massage in that area maybe lifting the leg and stretching it a little bit
move in to the right foot. Massaging the bottom of your feet and the sides of your feet. Gently but firm enough so they don't tickle. And just allow the pleasure that you get from having your feet massaged to just overtake you. As I continue to massage your feet, the bottoms of your feet, the sides, your arches, your heel, you can put a lot of pressure into your heel and it feels amazing, yet the arches need to be a bit more gentle, stretching your toes gently and massaging the bottoms of your toes with my fingers, each one individually. And moving over to the left leg to do exactly the same thing. Starting at the top of the thighs, working the back of the thighs and the sides, massaging deeply and gently that whole area, working all the way down, and this is an area that maybe you could like to spend more time relaxing and massaging. So perhaps if you wanted I could make a future recording where I spend more time on one particular area. As you move down to your calf muscles Massaging your calf muscles firmly and gently. Moving down your ankle and to your feet. Massaging the backs of your feet, the bottoms of your feet. Stretching your toes and massaging each toe individually. And that feeling of pleasure and release that you experience when you're having your feet massaged feels really good. Now, as you turn over in your mind, laying on your back, I'm just going to start again at your neck area. And your shoulders. just to get back in touch with that area. And as we move up, I can clean my hands, make them more fresh, 
because now we're going to massage your face gently starting off with your forehead your eyes are closed and I can just stretch your eyes a little bit pushing up on your eyebrows Just massaging around your scalp. Massaging down your cheeks, around your ears, into your jaw, gently. The sides of your neck. chin, and just moving down, from your neck down to your chest, starting by massaging the very top of your chest. where the collarbone is, either side of the collarbone, and then just massaging the whole of the chest, moving the chest around, Because it's quite a large area, you can move from one side to the next, moving my hands underneath pretty much where your arms are, stretching up, stretching some of the muscles of your back in the process. Moving up over your chest and then moving down again. And then allowing my hands to just massage gently and slide down towards your stomach starting in the middle of your chest and then gradually my hands moving apart and massaging and sliding at the same time moving down to just below your rib cage Massaging up again, giving your chest all the attention that it needs to feel completely relaxed. Remembering that I'm also going to be focusing on your sides as well an area that really doesn't get much attention but feels really good when it's massaged just stroking my hands down the sides of your body from just below your arms all the way down to your hips Now, moving to your stomach area, I'm 
me stand one side of you like I did when I did your lower back. I'm going to do a similar process of just stretching the muscles from your side gently massaging from one side to the next moving that whole area from below your ribs all the way down to below your belly button I'm going to move round to the other side of you and repeat that process of relaxing deeply, calmly, you feel loose, you feel free, and there's something about having your stomach massaged that's different from any other part, because we do have a tendency of holding a different kind of stress in our stomachs that we may not be aware of. As I now massage your stomach, the front of your stomach, making circles around your belly button. And then going the other way around. There's a gentleness and a freedom that comes from feeling how you're feeling. As I now move down the tops of your thighs, the muscles massaging them, and I can do this two legs at the same time, pressing down, massaging deeply those muscles in your thighs, the front of your thighs. Moving down to your knees, gently massaging your knees. Sliding down your shins, putting pressure on either side of your shin, gently, softly, but firmly. Moving down to your ankles, stroking the tops of your feet, and then with each foot in each hand, just gently massaging the whole of the foot. top, the bottom, your heel, your ankle, your toes, massaging every part of your feet, it feels so good just to let go and enjoy the process. Enjoy. Feeling so deeply relaxed. So much comfort and so many feelings that come just from touching your skin. And you can just lie there for as long as you choose, in 
enjoying the feeling of deep comfort from being massaged by me. Enjoy the feeling 